Good morning, and welcome back to my Indigo Disc Blind Nuzlocke, though it's not morning for you because you're probably watching this, well, not at morning. I usually post these at like noon, two o'clock, somewhere in there, but I've got a few more trainers to go, and then I will be happy to take on Drayton, so uh, I guess I'll meet you. Like I say, right now, there's not a whole lot left to explore. This is all a matter at this point of just going through, battling the trainers, and then taking out the Elite Four members, so I will meet you at the next trainer. Looking for the Polar Plaza? Actually, looking for you. I'm not sure if uh, you know the way to the Polar Plaza. Or are you looking for the Polar Plaza? You want me to show you the way there? Uh, probably going to end up cutting you out because you're not even an elite trainer, Kathy the student. Then again, I've seen some, uh, well, Grand Bull and Grand Bull. You know what? That's kind of an odd, quirky... Uh, I didn't expect that. I, I didn't expect her to have that. So, you know what? Nice. I was going to say, your double intimidate does nothing to me. Although that double intimidate wrecked you, but uh, let's see. Yeah, that's kind of a... Ooh, four Pokemon. That's kind of a weird, quirky trainer right here. You know what? I've got an idea. I feel like they're both going to attack Crab Crabominable, rather. Let's go Shell Smash. If they both attack you, I might have a problem, but I feel like, yeah, see, they're going straight for you because they have the fairy moves. In fact, that was, ooh, I guess they are going to go for you a little bit here. Um, well, let's see if I can slow this one down. Hey, not bad, not bad. Um, here's what I think I'm going to do. So, I didn't get the slow, unfortunately, but uh, since, the, you know what, they, yeah, they've split it up. I think I've got an idea here. I'm going to use my healing item, or at least... Uh, one of my healing items and heal up Crabominable. That way I don't actually have to switch out and they should do the same attacks. They should literally do exactly the same attack. So here's one healing item for this battle. One of two total. And here's a heat wave and it's coming in hot. This one's going to hurt. Unfortunately, it's probably not a sustainable strategy given that... Yeah, there we go. I was going to say just keep doing the same attacks. I don't know how... Uh, last Resort... Yikes, dude. I didn't know. You've already got Last Resort available to you. All right, so I have to be a little careful, obviously. All right, so if you're using Last Resort, what do I want to do? Chinchino. Now, do we go for the kill on Chinchino? I could definitely go for the kill on Chinchino. I say we go for the kill on Chinchino. I know it's uh, it's a little risky. Yeah, you know what? Let's Let's switch into Typhon now. I know it's uh, this one's also risky because I'm going into a, dra a dragon type, which is also weak to fairy, but I think I'm going to be okay. He's got last resort, and I forget what it is. He has crunch and last resort. Triple Axel. I was going to say, can I, for once in my life, can I get a, uh, a Chinchino that does not have that ability, that uh, whatever that ability is called? And it looks like I finally found one that doesn't have that ability. Last resort. Nice. Does nothing. All right. Close combat. Take this full out. Nice. Alright, unfortunately, uh, Kisara over here has pretty much no stats remaining. This thing's down to attack. Uh, it's down on pretty much everything now. <laughs> Another Chinchino. That's that's hilarious, actually, but unfortunately, there's nothing I can do with that. I gotta switch out. Let's go to Palangri. And then, as for you, let's go... Do I go for it? Um... I say let's go for Draco Meteor and take out Grand Bull. Wait, why did I do that, Grand Bull? Dude, I'm an idiot. I, <laughs> fairy type gets me sometimes, I swear. I was in competitive before Fairy type existed. I just switched into... He, he rock blasted, dude. Wow, this is the worst move I could have made. I just dropped Draco Meteor on something that's not normal type anymore. He's Fairy now. Oh, I even said earlier, I was like, oh, he's a Fairy type. And then I just went into automatic, man. I just went straight up automatic. It was horrible. Um, all right, so let's go. No, you know what? Second healing items coming out now. One of two, or uh, two of two on the healing items. Um, go. Let's see. So he's yeah, he's using last resort. I think we're gonna be okay to just drop a Draco Meteor on the little guy. Dude, I swear, sometimes I go back into... I forget entirely the fairy typing exists. I go right into automatic just... Oh, oh he's got last resort as well? Interesting strategy you've got. Take him out. Do I want to leave this battle in is the question. On one end, it was kind of funny that I, I keep 
forgetting the fairy type exists. On the other side of things, it's not really a super exciting battle. Switch into Rhydon. Actually, the only thing that's uh, the only thing that's truly exciting out of this, by the way, I, I should have seen when I saw Steel type was super effective. I completely ignored that. I wasn't even looking at that. Otherwise, I would have realized, of course, he's a fairy type. This would literally kill him in one shot. But I didn't. So do I want to leave that in and be like, hey, guys, check out my incompetence? Or do you guys probably see that and be like, ah, it's not an elite trainer, man. This is kind of boring. Raven is getting really high level. Well, now my Pokemon are too exhausted to show any well, anyone anywhere. Dude, I, I am fine. I am absolutely fine with Gardevoir being the level that Gardevoir is. She is level 88. I feel like that's that's a little high, but you know what? We're going to keep going. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. It was already over here, and then I went this way. So I got to find, I guess, I guess that way would be the next way because I, I didn't go up there. So onwards. At some point, sometimes you just got to say, forget it, dude. I can't find another trainer. And I'm like, you know what? We're just going right into the elite trial. <laughs> <laughs> I fought like seven out of the ten. I can't find any more, dude. Welcome to the Polar Plaza. We're the team that supports Drayton of the Elite Four. And you're Nita Marquis, right? One of the BB League challengers. You'll need to hand over 50 BP. Are you willing to pay? Yes. I'll, all this BP pretty much comes from just walking around. Whoa, hold up. My friend gets in free. Hey, this guy's got me. Are you sure, Drayster? The rules say... Just charge it to my account. That ought to take care of it, eh? That's not... Okay, understood. I'll make an exception. Many thanks, my man. There's my champ in the making. Thanks for coming. Let's hit the battle court real quick. What about the... Don't we have a, don't we have a trial that we're going to do? Feast your eyes on the majesty of the Polar Plaza battle court. Nah, it's basically just the exact same c battle court as the other plazas, just colder. I'm a cold weather kind of guy. Not what you'd expect from a dragon type user, huh? Anyhow, buddy, you came here to do my elite trial. Not listen to me ramble, so let's hop to it. I call my elite trial the terrarium only battles. Your goal is to clobber three of your fellow league club members. Oh, yeah. But it's, oh, you know what, that three, that works out perfect. <laughs> There's my ten trainers. But it's called the terrarium only for a reason. You can only use Pokemon that meet two conditions. First, they gotta be Pokemon that were caught living wild in the Terrarium. That's most of them. Raven will be out. Second, you gotta be the one who caught him. Unless your whole party meets these conditions, no elite trial for you. I know I'm asking a lot, but what, a f what fun would it be if you just dipped uh, into your vault of beefy Pokemon and cheesed your way through? That is a shout out to everyone playing this DLC except Nita Marquis. Your opponents are under the same conditions, so you can't be too mad about it. Because everyone else came in here with Rayquazas and Dark Rise, and <laughs> you know you get my point. Uh, I'm, I think I'm ready, but let, let me see. Does it? Okay, uh, that's your cue, underlings. Come on out, really? No, it can't be. Uh, yeah, it can't be. Raven was uh, my trials about skill, but it's chill. Take it at whatever pace you want. Um, hang on one second here. Uh, let's see. Rather stroll around the terrarium, catch a Pokemon first? No problem. So go on. Get out there and chill up. Yeah, I got to switch out Raven because I can't use Raven. She was caught in the teal mask. It was, uh, Raven was basically my starter Pokemon. So if I try to battle you, uh, what does it say? I love Pokemon with some brittle gray tones. Ready to battle me? I am. Gracious me, your Pokemon don't meet the trial conditions. All right, so Raven, unfortunately, has to be swapped out. I was worried about her level being too high anyway, so one sec. All right. Well, had to swap Raven out. Let's do it. Gracious me. What do you mean they don't meet the trial conditions? Everyone in my party was... Oh, Kisara. So I didn't think about that, but yeah, Raven was caught in the teal mask, and then Kisara was a shiny that was caught outside of this area, and I completely forgot about that. I mean, I had the whole YouTube poll and everything. So, interesting little clause here. You are challenged by Craig the Student. All right, I'm, I'm down for this, man. I'm down for this. Rampardos and Bastiodon. So, hmm... We've got an interesting little setup here, and I think I like it. Oh, you've only got two Pokemon? Dude, you know what we're going to do? 
Um, we're going to attack. We're going to attack, 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 because you've only got two Pokemon, and I happen to have your weaknesses. Oh, that was spicy. How'd you like that one, dude? Dude, two Pokemon. You are dead. I'm trying to be uh, mindful of my team. I'm probably going to be swamping around a couple of times as I do this. Ooh, yeah, that's right. You're super defensive, so... All right, let's go Horn Leech. I'm sorry. Well, okay, it doesn't really matter, but still Horn Leech. In fact, I should go I should go Body Slam, shouldn't I? But, I mean, it's not going to do anything. The only thing I would be aiming for is the Paralysis. I think I'm better off with that. Nice. Check it out. Full HP going into trainer number two. Iron Head, not going to do much. Unless, you know what, actually, he might just heal me between them. That's what the, in Crispin's trial, remember? Crispin, I, uh, I got healed between each one. Do I want to fill up my coffee now or later? Hmm. Your Pokemon are like gems. I don't know, man. Number two. Trainer number two. Actually, are, am I healed up? I'm not healed up. Let me... Yeah, let me go fill up that coffee. All right, let's do this. I'm quite the cool customer. Ready to shiver? Uh, I mean, if you're using ice types... Oh, yeah, he used gray Pokemon. She's going to use ice types. I'm probably in with the wrong Pokemon. But, well, let's see. Let's see what's going to happen here. We're doing this gauntlet style. So here are the three trainers anyways that I had to make up for uh, Winter the Student. So her name is Winter. That doesn't mean she's going to use ice types. But she definitely is using ice types. <laughs> All right. So here's the question. Um, she's got, you know what? Same thing. She's got two Pokemon. I say we use Heat Wave. I've got her weakness on hand. Kill him one shot. Ooh, Focus Sash. Wait, no, you probably wouldn't have items. All right, so unfortunately, Torkoal's going last, 1,000%. Aqua Tail, just hold off one Aqua Tail. Yes, that defense is amazing. Icicle Crash, hold it off. Your defense is not amazing, but they are totally dead right here. Insta-kill. Man, I knew I could tank an attack. Okay, to be fair, I had no idea that Atreus... I didn't know that Atreus was going to tank it. I, Sawsbuck's, uh, or I shouldn't say ability, Sawsbuck's stats are not exactly, they're not, in my brain, I don't really th consider that Pokemon super reliable. Uh, I can see why Drayton likes you. Heck yeah. All right, the last one. Um, unfortunately, yeah, I'm going to have to switch out. I got to think here. All right, so he's probably going to have two Pokemon again. So, you know, Lone, oh, uh, Iono. Sorry, I thought it said Lono. You know Iono, the streamer? I use the same type as her. Oh, you are so dead. You are so dead, dude. You Wait till you see this. Oh, he is so dead. Oh, I can't believe he's going to use electric types, dude. This is perfect. This is so perfect. You have no idea what's coming. You are challenged by Ray the student. I'm even going to sip on my coffee. Zeb Strika and Magnezone. You got lucky on one of those. You got very lucky. Now you may be wondering, why am I celebrating? I aren't I at a disadvantage here? Uh if I terastalize. Terastalize just because you're going to be uh yeah, you're gonna I'm gonna heal up before our Drayton anyway, so it's not a big deal. Um Let's go Confuse Ray on Magna Zone. Zeb Strika is going to go first. I think it's the fastest one by far, right? So I'm going to I'm going to Terastalize, and I'm going to try and take Zeb Strika out in a single hit. From there, the challenge becomes how do we take care of the Levitator? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. For now, I want to see Zeb Strika dead. Uses Stomp. Why would you not use an Electric... So first off, I actually outsped Magnazone, which is pretty impressive. And then the second thing is, why would you not use, um, uh, uh, what is it, uh, Electric Strike or whatever, whatever your signature move is on my flyer? I'm definitely, and you dodged that, so I couldn't tell you. Man, I have no idea why they didn't go for an Electric move on the Flying type. Zeb Strike is dead. Thousand percent.
Magnazone does not have what I thought he had. He had Sturdy instead. Why was I thinking he had Levitate? I know Magnazone better than that, man. All right. Well, uh, yeah, you're pretty much done, man. This is it. Um, so the only thing I got to say is I do want to swap out. Let's go. No, we can't swap out. Um, ooh, this sucks. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to use Drill Run instead. And now I'm going to swap out because he's going to use something physical. He, he screeched me. He's definitely going for something physical. So I don't want to be in there when that happens. And I know he's a little faster. So let's just see. Confusion. Maybe he just takes himself out. Try attack. All right. He doesn't even go for me. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why I thought he had levitate. Sturdy and magnet pull are his abilities. So I don't know what I was thinking here. Um, in fact, with Magnet Pull, actually, I couldn't get out of there if I wanted to now that I have Archaludon out there. You're not an Archaludon. You're a Duraludon. I don't even know how to get an Archaludon. That was electrifying, all right. Dude, you picked the wrong Pokemon. That was amazing. So that makes, let's see, one, two, three... Nice. You went and beat all three of them. <laughs> Which means the Elite Trial is Elite Complete. Check it out. Easy. Now I got to plan what I'm going to use for you. All right, my League Club assistants, retreat on the double. Goodbye, see ya, good battle. GG, aren't they great? No grumbling or nothing, bunch of sweethearts. All right, Drayden. Looks like it's finally time for you and me to battle. <laughs> Not without my Gardevoir. Guess you're still using the party you put together for my challenge, though, huh? Go ahead, take a sec to change it up. Unless you want to dive right into the bat. No, no. I need my fairy type, man. Got it. No rush on my end. In fact, I don't know. Do I want Atreus still on the team? Are they all healed up? Okay, so I just get the plan. All right, I got I to gotta think. That's what I've got to do, Drayden. I have to think. No, oh, I know I say this every time, but here goes nothing. All right, Drayton. Ready to take me on, bud? Yeah, let's rock. All right, it's on. Not sure what's going to happen. All I know is I typically lose a Pokemon or two or three. <laughs> here should be good. Uh, usually this goes down and I walk away with uh, less Pokemon than I came in with. You know, I was thinking about that look you get in, in when you're in battle. And I realized I've only ever seen you look like that from the sidelines. Guess now I know what it's like to face you from across the court. Let me be real. I'm counting on you to conquer the whole BB League, bud. I mean it. I need you to pull this off. You gotta come through for me. That said... I'm not going to just roll over and miss out on all the fun, so watch out. But no need for us to get all official or anything. Just battle me normally like you would anybody else need a marquee. Here's the 100% Draster truth. I'm so psyched I'm practically tingling. So why don't we get this rolling nice and easy? Let's go, bud. Show me a good time. Well, my intent is to show you a bad time. Let's see what you got. I've got a strategy. Let's see if you've got a strategy. Here we go. Drayton. Ooh, Flygon and Dragonair. That's a little... That's not exactly fitting my plans of what I was going to do. Don't let me down, bud. No one wants to see me ugly cry. Hmm. All right. I got to think here. I got to think here, and I got to think. Uh, so originally, I was going to use Terrastalization. You know what? Let's just risk it, man. Let's risk it and go reflect and terrestrialize. So I'm going to try and bait out dragon moves. And I was hoping that I could bait out physical dragon moves. Hopefully not flamethrowers. Or earthquakes. Possibly dragon pulse. But I was hoping to bait out dragon moves and switch my type to steel. Oh, he used an earthquake and it does not make a difference. Don't kill, don't kill, don't kill. Ooh, that's so close. Dragonite's going to kill. Dragonite's going to kill the shiny. Do I outspeed Dragonite? All right, please, Dragonite, go for something physical. 
I dare you to go for something physical. I know he's dropping earthquakes. Ice spinner does nothing, does nothing, does nothing. Hits Raven, and we're okay. Not exactly super okay, but I'm hanging in there. I'm alive, put it that way. All right, so that was super close. If he had gone for Typhon, I don't know. I feel like I probably would have survived it, but I have no idea. I know he's going for Earthquake, so we got to go full restore. First healing item is out, and let's bait out that Icicle attack. And then I think I can try and drop a Draco Meteor on Flygon and take care of that Earthquake. The question is, what do you have? You have Ice Spinner. What's What else do you have, Dragonite? Do you have Flamethrower? If you had Flamethrower, I feel like you'd be using it. The, yeah, these Earthquakes got to go, man. Oof, even under a Reflect and two Iron Defenses, it's still... All right, he's definitely... He, he wants to destroy Raven. Yeah, he's, he's on Raven, 1,000%. So, all right, now the question is, if he uses Ice Spinner, uh, I can definitely not switch into Altaria. Uh, let's go Draco Meteor on Flygon. And... Second healing item go on Raven, or do I switch out? Can somebody else... You know what? Actually, maybe maybe instead of going to a second healing item, I switch out to... I switch out to Moria. He's going to be dead, man. Flygon's going to be dead. He's going to drop that Ice Spinner on me, rather. And... Uh, yeah, he uses Earthquake. I was going to say, so he's going to be dead. Flygon's going to be gone. That Ice Spinner attack, I'm going to eat it with Moria, and then we're going to we're gonna switch things up a little bit here. Take out Flygon. Done. Goodbye, Flygon. Whoa, not a lot of types can make me eat super effective hits. Eat this Ice Spinner. I have a Yak Berry on that Altaria. So if he's going to hit me with Ice Spinner, I'm going to be okay. The question is, what comes after Ice Spinner? He uses Tailwind instead, actually. So, 1,000% he's going to go for... Ooh, Haxorus. I also should use Tailwind. Do I want to use Tailwind? He's going to try to He's gonna try to skunk me. Let's go Draco Meteor on Haxorus. And... Do I want to use my own Tailwind, or do I want to just attack? I think, I think I can also pull off a Tailwind here. Breaking Swipe... Okay, I know he's going to use Ice Spinner. He's going to use Ice Spinner. And, okay, my attack is down, which makes no difference for me anyways, I guess. So, Ice Spinner, Yak Berry, hold it off, hold it off. We have the Reflect up. And he kills anyway, dude, with a crit. I think that crit made the difference. He crit and... Oh. I will utilize this opportunity to... Ooh, so he lives. All right, so, hmm. With his Tailwind out, he's going to be using Breaking Swipe, so I'm going to swap into Dugong. I have an idea for this. So let's go. Do I want to rest? I could rest, or I could use another Draco Meteor. Let's go. Let's go Flash Cannon on the Dragonite, and then let's go Aqua Jet on Haxorus. He may be low, but he's not going to live this. I mean, I, I take it back. It may not hurt him that much, but it's not gonna, he's not going to live this. All right. Hanging in there. Thunder Punch. Okay, he did it on the wrong Pokemon. I don't know why he did that, but I'm okay with that. Oh, it does nothing, dude. All right, so the Reflect is gone. That is that is bad. Ooh, Kingdra. So now the question is, what does Kingdra have? Do you think he's going to go for a Rain Dance Swift Swim? Why would he do that if he's already got a Tailwind, though? He could go for Typhon. I think he's going to go for Typhon. Um, or risk it, risk it, risk it. Do we risk it? I don't have... I, I say he goes for Rain Dance. He goes for Rain Dance. There's no way he can kill my Arcaludon now. It's not an Arcaludon. It's a Duraludon. In fact, this guy might have an Arcaludon. Still going for Thunder Punch. Good. 
Good. Not well. Not so good. Anyways. Anyway, he just uh, he just did that. But hey. Ooh, Yakberry as well. Freeze him. Freeze him. Freeze him. He's got that Thunder Punch, but he's not using it on me for some reason. So, kill him. Oh my god, dude. This is crazy. This Dragonite is so tanky. Alright, so, Tailwind is out. So, he's probably going to go for another Tailwind. You. The question is, what do you do? And... I could go... I, you know what? Yeah, that's... I got to switch. So... Let's switch into Palangri. And then he's going to go for that Tailwind. So I'm going to Ice Beam him. I could... Uh, Aqua Jet's not going to take that out, dude. I could use the Aqua Jet. And yeah, I've got the Mystic Water and I've got the Rain. I don't think that's enough. I need to naturally outspeed him. And I didn't the last time. That, that, yeah, Dugong's too slow. Use his Hydro Pump. Had a feeling that was coming. Ooh, it hits so hard in the rain. Thunder Punch on Dugong. Yikes, but we're okay. Don't, don't paralyze. There we go. All right, nice. No Tailwind. I don't have any Tailwind to worry about. Now what comes? Oh, my God. He's got a freaking Sceptile. So here's the question. Who dies? Oh, dude, he's going to he's gonna outspeed. He's got Swift Swim. There's no way he doesn't. So he's going to Hydro Pump somebody. Hmm. He's... I, I don't... Yeah, I have nobody I can switch into. Oh, my God. I am, I am beat, dude. I am beat. Let's use Aqua Jet and... Maybe Aqua Tail? If I, you know what, yeah, because yeah, I'm going to have to use Ice Beam on Sceptile. He's, Sceptile is going to go for Dugong. All right, so if I swap out, if he, if, if Sceptile, Sceptile is going for Dugong and I switch into Torkoal, Sceptile won't hit Torkoal very hard, but then Kingdra will murder him. So I have to take out the Kingdra. I have to, dude. I have to do as much damage on Kingdra as I can. I got to sacrifice. That does nothing, dude. That does nothing. I should have I, yeah, I should have gone for Ice Beam. I'm going to... Yeah, he's going to get the double kill on me. Dude, he's going to get a double kill. Oh, no. Leaf Storm. Miss. Thank you. It doesn't do much, but anything is better than nothing. Oh, dude. I should have gone for Ice Beam. I don't know why I didn't. Let's go swap into Raven. And the only thing I can hope here is that I can pull a Protect out and Dugong. Dugong's a sacrifice, dude. There's nothing. I can't do anything. I, I literally have. You got to sacrifice. I can't outspeed you. So the Sceptile is going to take you out no matter what happens. The only thing I can hope for is I can outlast the Rain Dance. Here goes a Protect. Oh, this is the worst one yet, dude. This is absolutely the worst one yet. Protect. By some miracle, are you going to use Leaf Storm on... Oh, maybe you can miss again. Nope. Dugong's dead, man. Dugong is dead. All right, so... I can't switch into Torkoal as long as I've got him out there. That Kingdra has to die. So now the question is... I only have these guys. Hmm. Let's go Torkoal. I forgot I do have Protect on him. That's the only saving grace I've got here. So uh, let's go Moonblast on Kingdra and Protect on you. Hopefully he double attacks. Let's see if he possibly can just... Everybody goes after Torkoal. Cross my fingers. Everyone goes after Torkoal. I knew that was coming. All right. Next up, Leaf Storm on Torkoal. Dragon Cheer? What the hell does that even do? What is that? What, what, what went up? Kingdra is getting pumped. What did that do? I am so glad you're dead because I have no idea what attack that even was. All right. Is he down to his last Pokemon? The rain stopped, dude. This is Arcaludon. Oh, the big guy is here. You have got to outspeed this thing. Full-blown kill him Moonblast. Heat wave on the steel type. Oh, which t dragon's blood boil? You're going into a dragon type, aren't you? You're not. There's no way you would go into a steel type like I did. 
I am not going to outspeed with, uh, with Torkoal. But, okay, he's a dragon type. There's no way. He's going to be using dragon moves. He's definitely going to be on brand with the dragon moves. Kill him with a Moonblast. X-Scissor. Easy. Easy. Oh, my God. He's going to get an attack off. Stamina. Defense goes up. What does he use? Ready to get blasted to smithereens? I won't leave you anywhere to run. Oh, my God. He's a bridge. What did he do? What did that even do? Okay, a special attack is up. I don't even know these moves. It doesn't do anything. Torkoal, you're one of the best special attackers in the game. Well, not really. Uh, what did you just use? What was that? Weakness policy? Oh, my God. You had a weakness policy? Uh, I have no choice. I have no choice. What am I going to do here? Oh my god, this sucks, dude. Um, we gotta protect. That's the only... He's gonna attack. He's going for some kind of crazy attack. Protect. Bait it out. I know Sceptile's going for you. He's not going for Torkoal, so Sceptile's going for you. Acrobatics? He's... Never mind. He changed his target. Electro shot? Oh my god. Vaporized! Vaporized. Oh no. Oh, vaporized like it was nothing, dude. He's evaporated. Oh, this is getting so bad. Oh, my God. I have one healing item left. So I can't... Oh, this is... Dude, I am a dead man. How am I going to make it through this Nuzlocke? I'm a dead man. <laughs> I am so dead. Uh, Moonblast on Arcaludon. That will probably take him out. And then use your final healing item, full restore on Duraludon. Thank God that I am a steel type because you probably have breaking swipe and that would be lethal right now. I don't think you're going to get an attack off. I think it's, yeah, leaf storm's coming. Ooh, not very effective, but it's not very comfortable. I have mystical fire though, so you're going to die. Arcaludon dies. All right, Sceptile, you're up next. Um... I'm going to... Well, you used Leaf Storm, so I have nothing to fear from you, actually. So, he's dead. He did, <laughs> I only make it out with two Pokemon, but he's dead. All right. Mystical Fire, take him out. And uh, Draco Meteor, take him out. Goodbye. A Desperate Acrobatics, which was actually honestly scary. All right. Drop that Draco Meteor. Special Attack is down again. That's why he went with the Physical. Dude, I am going to die. How am I going to make it out of this alive? It's impossible. Do you, My Pokemon out-leveled him, by the way. I know he's EV trained. Then that makes a huge difference for mine. But that's what I'm talking about. Dude, I got... Everyone's dead. Everyone's dead. I'm going to die. That girl, that uh, Lacey, she's going to murder me. <laughs> Man, that was ridiculous. So much fun. I knew inviting you to join the league was the right move. And I guess if you can beat me, we better make you a full member finally. What do you say? You ready to make the real deal? Heck yeah, let's do it. I don't know what that means, but let's do it. <laughs> Bless you in your generous heart. Come on, let's get a photo for you of you for the club roster. Dude, these... These guys are like teenagers, and they would absolutely roll the Elite Four that's in Paldea. Lacey probably would have wanted a more serious photo. She might not be thrilled, but oh well. I feel like there was one thing I was supposed to do. Oh, yeah, we got to give TMs to whoever can beat or whoever beats us. Yeah, yeah, dude, whatever you give me is meaningless. If you could give me back the life that you took. Sorry for the holdup. I'm back. That's three of the Elite Four you've trounced now. Seeing how far you're, you're getting is making me sweat a little. Here's your reward, like I said. Dragon Cheer? What did that even do? What the hell is that? The user raises its allies' morale with a draconic cry so that their future attacks have a heightened chance of landing critical hits. Oh, dude, that would have been... Oh, I am so glad I killed that thing. 
<laughs> oh, guess I should have cleaned it, but uh, what's a little dust between friends? I like that the idea is that he hasn't had to give out uh, TM in so long that he didn't even know where it was at, and it was dusty. You know, bud, seeing skills like yours up close and personal really leaves an impression. No wonder it has such an effect on Kieran. But enough about that. I guess the, your, uh, your elite fourth match is going to be against Lacey. She's no pushover, tell you what. But you ought to be able to take her, bud. See you soon. Show us what you got. Uh, I've got nothing. You killed everything. I, I, I literally, it's like a, it's like, it's like a freaking storybook over here, man. The two people or the two Pokemon that survive out of this are literally Magical Raven, who has not died in two Nuzlocks, and Typhon because he's shiny. Dead, dead, dead. I can't... Oh, man. I, I needed those Pokemon. This is horrible. I am so backed against a wall now. Like, I, hey, I wanted this challenge. I'm the one who asked for this. This is on me. So if there's anybody to blame, he's just the guy that's looking in the mirror. So, uh, you know what? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to record a few more battles. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the team back to some form of decency. Anything. Something is better than nothing. It, what just happened? Dude, this area has been so glitchy. It has been scary glitchy. Like, this is absolutely terrible. I don't know what's going on, man, but uh, all right. So with that said, humble and proud, I'm Nita Marquis, and I'm, uh, I'm, I'm limping across the finish line. Kieran will kill me. If I make it past Lacey at all, Kieran will take me out. Look at the glitching that's going on, dude. This area, I got to get out of here. This game is going to crash. I will see you all in the next one. I'm going to record some trainer battles right after this. So the next episode literally will, it'll cut off before Lacey and then I'll finish Lacey probably tonight. Uh, I'm going to die. I need to, I need to really look at what Pokemon I've got left, which is almost nothing. I'm going to go die now. Uh, have a good time. Thank you for watching.